वेलकम टू सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस अबाउट आइसोलेटर्स यूज्ड इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री यू विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन व्हाट शुड बी द इनसाइड एनवायरनमेंट इज मेंटेन फॉर आइसोलेटर्स आंसर इज आइसोलेटर्स आर ग्रेड ए और आईसो फाइव एरियाज दस आइसोलेटर्स मस्ट मीट ग्रेड ए और आईसो फाइव पर्टिकुलर एयर क्वालिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स अनलेस यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑपरेशन दैट जनरेट पर्टिकुलेट्स नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट शैल बी डन ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ आइसोलेटर्स आंसर इज देर आर टेन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट दैट शुड बी डन ड्यूरिंग ऑपरेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ आइसोलेटर्स दिस टेन टेस्ट आर हेपा फिल्टर क्वालिफिकेशन पी एल सी क्वालिफिकेशन लिक टाइटनेस ऑफ चेंबर अलार्म टेस्टिंग एयर फ्लो मैनेजमेंट एन वी पी सी मेजरमेंट आइसोलेटर पर्टिकुलेट रिकवरी टेस्ट स्टैंडर्ड जनरेशन सिस्टम noise level and light level mapping next question what are the air flow requirements for isolator answer is air flow inside the isolator should be unidirectional turbulence in the air flow should be avoided air flow expected is up to 0.45 plus or minus 20% in conclusion it should be contribute to maintain grade a or iso 5 environment inside the isolator next important question what should be the acceptance criteria of air flow pattern inside the isolator for unidirectional air flow following should be the acceptance criteria air flow should be unidirectional at the filter phase flows visualized at the working area level must demonstrate the effective scavenging with minimal turbulence with no dead zones and no reverse flows here air flow should not avoid particles from the isolator work surface to open valves for filling where flow is turbulent then it is very important that there should be the absence of any dead zones next important question is what are the phases of php decontamination cycle basically there are four phases of php decontamination cycle these are conditioning phase gassing phase decontamination phase and aeration phase in conditioning phase the relative humidity inside the isolator goes on decreasing this makes isolator ready for the intake of hydrogen peroxide second phase is gassing phase in this phase vaporized hydrogen peroxide is added into the isolator till 100% relative humidity is achieved this is done up to the desired ppm concentration of h2o2 is achieved inside the isolator third important phase is decontamination phase this is an hold phase wherein we keep hydrogen peroxide in the isolator with optimum concentration typically this phase varies between 30 to 60 minute based on the validation in this phase desired kill rate or log reduction is achieved and the final stage is aeration phase in this phase hydrogen peroxide is removed from the isolator in this phase relative humidity is returned to normal that is 40 to 60% ensuring isolator is safe for the working Next question which area shall be considered during VHP decontamination cycle validation answer is critical areas and challenging areas shall be considered during VHP cycle validation areas where the contamination will lead to likely product contamination shall be considered as critical areas and these areas needs to be covered during the validation approach example area which are the most close to the product shall be considered as critical areas most likely to come in the product contact part such as filling needles stoppering bowl and high touch points such as glow tips shall be considered as critical areas whereas in case of challenging areas areas that are hard to sanitize example hot spot in the isolator upper corners in the isolator shall be considered as challenging areas hard to clean areas shall be mapped and shall be challenged with the chemical indicators next very important question how we can ensure efficiency of vhp decontamination cycle we can ensure efficiency of vhp decontamination cycle by using biological indicators and it can be done in following four steps first biological indicator shall be placed at each identified critical and challenging location ideally we should use three indicators at each location in second step aseptically connect the all machine setup and make machine ready for filling operation in third step run the 
php decontamination cycle with biological indicators and in last step after end of php cycle remove biological indicators and incubate them into the media and observe for the growth next is very frequently asked question whether it is required to use sterile gloves inside the isolator gloves answer is yes we should use sterile gloves inside the isolator gloves and it is now regulatory expectation that we should sanitize these gloves frequently while working in the isolator next question what are mouse holes in isolator and what is their use answer is mouse holes are of isolator design which are used for entrance and exit of components and products from the isolator these mouse holes are remain closed during entire vhp decontamination process it is basic requirement that air flow should be from the isolator to out through the mouse hole next important question what are the types of mouse holes in isolator there are two types of mouse holes in isolator these are active mouse holes and passive mouse holes active mouse holes which opens and close as per requirement during the aseptic processing whereas in case of passive mouse holes these remains either open or either closed during the entire aseptic processing next important question what is use of h2o2 or hydrogen peroxide sensor inside the isolator hydrogen peroxide sensors are used to measure level of available hydrogen peroxide inside the isolator commonly high range and low range sensors are used in isolators high range sensors are used to measure saturated hydrogen peroxide concentration that is concentration during vhp decontamination cycle whereas low range sensors are commonly used to measure hydrogen peroxide concentration after end of vhp decontamination cycle that is removal of hydrogen peroxide from the isolator air next question what is acceptable limit of hydrogen peroxide after vhp decontamination cycle and prior to start of next operation usually 1 ppm concentration or less than that is considered as safe to operations inside the isolators and at this concentrations isolators are claimed as safe this limit of 1 ppm was given by osha that is osha guideline that is occupational health and safety administration next one brief about biological indicators used for ensuring vhp sterilization of isolators Geobacillus stereothermophilus microorganism spores are commonly used as a BI in US and Europe for ensuring VHP sterilization of isolators. Paper, stainless steel, plastic and glass are commonly used carriers for these biological indicators. Next very important question what should be the action plan in case of BI failure? non compliant or positive bias are handled in accordance with the recommendations of pda's technical report number 51 chapter 8 in the event of non compliant bi an investigation shall be carried out during the investigation following approach shall be applied during the investigation of non compliant or positive bias confirm the cycle parameters receipt of bias verification of the implementation of validation protocol shall be done sterilization agent certification shall be checked review of calibration data maintenance and temperature data shall be done and previous history of non conformances shall be verified during the investigation thank you for watching subscribe to channel for more informative content if you have missed the first part click in front of the arrow you will get the link of first part in the description box also thank you for watching